Now, in business, China has issued sweeping relaxation measures to shore up financing in its embattled real estate sector. Unlike previous piecemeal steps, Beijing has rolled out 16 measures. Now, these range from addressing the liquidity crisis, gripping developers to loosening down payment requirements for home buyers. As part of the rescue plan, developers' outstanding bank loans and trust borrowings due in the next six months can be extended for a year. Bond repayments can be extended or swapped through negotiations. Cash-strapped property developers have struggled to tap fun funding sources to finish projects and to pay suppliers. Now, several developers have defaulted on their offshore debt obligations in the past year, triggering a property downturn that has weighed on the world's second largest economy. Analysts expect the policy easing to aid China's growth. Now, this could add a fuel to its market rally that has sent a gauge of Chinese shares in Hong Kong up more than 20% from its lows at the end of last month. And that puts it in a technical bull market. Now, now for more on China's rescue plan to save the shaky property sector, we are joined by Michelle Lam. She's the Greater China Economist at Societe Generale, speaking to us from Hong Kong. Michelle, good to have you with us. Is this a turning point for the mainland property market? Many are saying that it's by far the most aggressive policy moves by authorities to date. I think this is a turning point for the property market, and it's right, it is by far the most uh, significant impact load easing measures that we've seen from the policymakers. I think the most significant impact coming from this 16-point uh, measures is that the developers' outstanding bank loans uh, will be extended uh, for a year, and the caps on the bank lending to the developers uh, will also be temporarily eased. And that means that uh, the general funding conditions for the, for the property developers will be supported uh, quite a lot. And I think this is very important to resolve uh, the situation that right now in China, there are a lot of projects uh, in the construction space that are, st are stored, and that has really affected the confidence of the home buyers when they purchase properties. So if this uh, this funding situation is being relieved, then I think some of the uh, home buying demand could come back gradually. So which of these 16 measures then would you say uh, are the most welcomed by the markets? Um, well, so the most the most significant one is the one that uh, the bank loans will be extended for a year uh, for those who are deal within the next six months, and then the, the other one I would say is the easing on the uh, the caps the, on the bank lending to the developers, and this is I think resolving the funding situation for the developers are uh, most important. And uh, on the other hand, though, um, the measures also mentioned that uh, the down payment ratios. Uh, will be lowered, for example, to support uh, the local uh, housing demand. I think we've actually seen a lot of them being released anyway. Um, but I think resolving uh, the store projects are essential to to improve the confidence of the home buyers. Because right now, uh, a lot of people, they are just not looking into properties, uh, not just because the economic situation is bad, it's also because they are losing confidence in the private developers in China. Some analysts point out that the proportion of bad loans related to property has surged by 30%. Now, with the easing of funding for developers and homeowners, are the authorities just kicking the can down the road, so to speak? Yes, to some extent, uh, yes. Um, because I think there's a question regarding, OK, now the loans will be extended uh, for a year, then uh, what about a year later? I think the most crucial aspect is that we need to see some stabilization in the housing demand. And this is really key to the long term growth of the real estate companies. So right now, the policymakers are, uh, are stepping up to improve the liquidity situation. But for us to really see a turnaround in the developer situation, we need a housing sales to improve, which, by the way, I think uh, housing sales uh, should see some rebound after collapsing by the more than 30 percent this year, because, first of all, I think uh, if the funding situation of developers are improving, then uh, the, the household should be able to get into the market uh, by uh, 
uh, to to look into houses uh, built by the private developers. And second, uh, don't forget that uh, we are now uh, having some. Uh, we are at the beginning of the relaxation of the zero COVID policies. I think over the coming months, uh, because we know that Omicron is very vicious uh, in the winter times. So I think the situation is still going to be quite difficult regarding the COVID uh, COVID pandemic. But I think after spring, uh, as China gets uh, more vaccination and uh, and we get closer to herd immunity and get uh, and we get more reopening for the economy, then I think uh, some of the demand uh, in the housing sector, the structural demand, uh, should come back. Okay. Okay, Michelle, Michelle Lam there at Societe Generale. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us on this very big topic.